Ryan was promoting this Maxton thing. Hello everybody, we are here on blueping.tv.com <laughs> and we have the beautiful Daphne who will show us <laughs> the Maxton browser which she loves so much. Yeah, this is actually my favourite browser. It was developed in China. Uh, it used to be called My ID2 I think, but right now, uh, now it's called Maxton and one of the features that I love most about this uh, browser is the super drag and drop. Basically what it does is this. Right, let's just go to Rina's blog first. Okay. So the wonderful thing about this is the tap browsing. Alright and um, not just tap browsing as in the IE seven that you have now mm -hmm. or Firefox. Mm -hmm. But what I really really love about it is this if you want to open a new link in a new tab, all you have to do is just click lightly on it, drag, and drop it anywhere, and there you go, you have a new tab already open. Oh, cool. Yeah. Can, so, can you do it again? Okay. Let's look at this website now, Singapore Arts Museum. So, you just click lightly, drag, and drop anywhere. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so, and you, and you get... And you just get a new new tab already, so yeah, that that's really convenient, especially for people like me, who actually I love Wikipedia. Oh. Alright, I, I read a lot of things on Wikipedia, so um, every time I see links like this, uh, oh, I'm reading about Singapore Art Museum, then I wanna I wanna read something like, oh, this is a former Saint Joseph institution. So I want to read more about the former SJI, and I just click, drop, and I can still go back to the old, uh, what I was reading just now, and read on uh, until maybe I find something else like, uh, let's see, who's interesting, who's interesting, like Leonardo da Vinci. So I just click, drop here, and maybe I, I, can, I can just, you know, serve the different tabs that I have, and just keep going back to it. Yeah. Cool. So this is, that, is that the only function? Uh, feature of Maxton that you like. The is there anything else? Um, basically, this is very IE based. But what I also love is that they have a pop up blocker and web app blocker built in. So let's say if you are okay, if you don't want to see ad alerts, <laughs> and you don't want to see enough ads, right? you can actually block it. I see yes, uh, wow. yeah. So what what happens is that let's say if this is a nothing ad or a ad or any other you know advertising, let's say Google Google ad ads. Uh. So if you don't want to see it, all you have to do is just activate the web ad blocker. And what happens is at this space you don't see anything. All you see is um, just a blank I blank think screen. You see something like uh, ad blocked or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. so you don't have to look at like useless everything <laughs> if you don't want to. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I think like um like Bing and Josh and and Timothy they are gonna kill me for this like that. You can you can actually block your ads. So yeah. Okay, and that's Daphne promoting Max Pen. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.